If you're on the search for children's medicine, many pharmacy shelves will probably look something like this. We're at the point where almost all liquid medication for children are unavailable. Earlier this month, Health Canada announced they have secured a foreign supply of children's medicine, which will be available in pharmacies in the coming weeks. Medications will start appearing on store shelves starting early next week. However, it's been more than a week since that update and some Edmonton pharmacies have yet been able to restock their shelves and say the Tylenol and Advil shortage is the least of their concerns. Prescription drugs are starting to become shorter as well. A lot of liquids, uh, not just amoxicillin, but some of the other antibiotic liquids as well. I'm more concerned about the uh, antibiotic shortages uh, because uh, with antibiotic use sometimes for more severe conditions, things such as a pneumonia, uh, if that's not treated promptly, that can lead to even life-threatening problems. Kai says a lot of people are getting sick, therefore suppliers are unable to keep up with the demand. When unable to provide families with medications, he refers them to compounding pharmacies who can produce medications when the large manufacturers cannot meet demand. Whenever there's uh, a commercial product that's short and not available, then we can have this pharmacy um, be able to pr produce such a product to mimic that such. So we're able to you know, formulate a product that can be tailored to that patient. Michelle Tang says despite the shortage of commercial medicine products, they haven't had to turn patients away empty handed. We've been ordering our um, compounding formulas from our compounding uh, pharmacy and we have an um, adequate supply of it so we're not having to you know, turn parents away um, because we don't have stock of it. Health Canada says more than 1 million bottles of children's medicine has been secured for pharmacies and hospitals. However, both Tang and Kai say it's unclear when or if they'll receive a shipment. In the meantime, they recommend families do what they can to avoid getting sick. Wear masks uh, if you're okay with that. Get a flu shot, get your COVID shots. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.